eight. Losers seven, bracket round nine. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Red Hawks had a fantastic showing this tournament. They're fighting the slightly more experienced Caldera. Both of them have just had a great run so far. The winner of this match will go on to face the winner of the match between Judge's Dream and Eruption. Whoa. Very evenly matched early on in this fight in the first minute. Pretty nice back and forth between these two. Oh, there goes the wheel guard and the wheel on the right side of Red Hawk. That's a terrible turn of events for that team. They are now only on one wheel and the, uh, the force that their weapon provides them to move around the box. That is a big disadvantage for the fully mobile Caldera, against the fully mobile Caldera, I should say. Red Hawk. Their weapon still spinning. They're still a threat, but uh, man, they have a lot fewer options. And you can see Caldera taking their time, stalking around, waiting to get that good angle, waiting to get that good hit, saving the battery on their weapon. The weapon on Caldera is down. Red Hawk's weapon is still up. No, the Caldera was just saving their power. They were waiting until they got a good angle. Really? Yeah, they don't want to. They didn't want to get in there. Until they could get here, right? There we go. Wild. Beautiful. I love that. Strategic, ripping off the rest of that wheel guard. And now they're going to try to do it on the other side. But he's being surgical about it. He's not trying to take on too much damage. He's thinking long term for this tournament. Really smart thinking on the part of the Caldera driver. 45 seconds left in this fight. Red Hawk doing a great job keeping the front of its robot facing towards Caldera. Not easy when you're missing a wheel. But that's the only option they really have right now. Play defense and play it well. Twenty-five seconds. Caldera saving their weapon. Are they saving their weapon, Kyle? Or is their weapon down? I was imagining they were going to, yeah, I was thinking in the last 15 seconds they were going to just go full send and see if they could do, uh, do that damage just to show the judges. What an interesting choice, Kyle. Huh. Five, Five four, four. There we go. Three, He's going to the back. Two, He's one. That's the match. Turn yep, off your weapons. Turn off your weapons. I don't think that went exactly too planned for Caldera there. I, I think they were hoping to get a little bit more damage in. Wow. All right, we are going to go to the judge's decision here. Interesting match. Hmm. So this goes, the winner of this match goes on to losers round 10. Don, let's go ahead and start with you, buddy. What did you think about that match? Uh, it's pretty, it was dominated by Caldera easily. Yeah. Uh, yeah, figured he was just saving uh, for the next fights and, you know, about 20 minutes, don't want to fix anything you don't have to yeah fair enough all right so proud glass cannon owner andrew what are your thoughts there my, my bot's a tank justin's the one with the uh <laughs> glass cannon but fair enough. um in this case here yeah caldera was the um they're playing strategically they once the wheel was off they didn't um engage super heavily and they showed that in the last 15 seconds their weapon was still working so i'm gonna give it to caldera in this case yeah, fair enough. All right, Jack? Yeah, definitely Caldera. They did exactly what they needed to do and nothing more. So they played it very smart. And yeah, this late in the tournament, they played it smart. I agree. All right, so the winner of that match, Caldera. Congratulations to them. They're going to be moving on to losers round 10. They'll be facing the winner of the match between Judges Dream and Eruption coming up soon, if not next. And uh, I have some exciting news. Uh, right before we talk to uh, to Red Hawk, uh, Red Hawk will be the number five robot that will have qualified for December. What? Um, awesome! 
So, Congratulations. Fantastic. Uh, we are we are going to be seeing Red Hawk again. Chris, is your microphone working? Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. All right. I'm here with Josh from Red Hawk. How you doing, man? Good. You really put out a great show today. You know, we love seeing your bot. Um, are you excited for, for making the finals? Yeah, I really am. I, I really didn't think I'd be able to do that back in February, but here I am now. Yeah, it's been a long year. Uh, so do you plan on coming back in November? Do you want to go back to work on the bot? What are you, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm definitely coming back for November. Get some good practice in? Awesome. Um, let me ask you, uh, you know, you, you made it so far today, uh, you know, are, are, you, are you getting good practice in? Like, what's it, what's it like when you're, when you're out there, when you're, when, you're, when you're competing? Well, it's always a, it's always a little, like, nerve-wracking, but I'm sure everyone feels the same way. Uh, for me, I, I always just, like, start shaking my legs before every fight. Like, I'm in the green room and my controller is literally just shaking on my legs. Like, wow. It does not show when you drive at all, buddy. Luke's doing the same thing before this competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. That's very true. Yeah, I'm coming back for November. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we, we, thanks for coming and, you know, we, we, we're really looking forward to it. Josh, incredible work and a round of applause yeah, for Josh. Yes, thank you, Josh. Job, cool kid. All right, we've got, uh, I believe, another grudge match. Is that right? Rap Raptor X22 versus Pin and Pummel. Eight. I seven, don't see six, Pummel, five, Kyle. Four, I don't. No. All I see is Pin two, Yeah, there. there's, there's one, very little pummeling fight, and a whole lot of pinning going on. Fight. Oh, <laughs> Raptor X22 oh. is running its 